Good morning, boys and girls. Did everybody have a good night's sleep? Did everybody make it to the markets on time? It looks like we're missing a few people. Folks, <laughs> this is Bag of Dawn at StockMarketCaddy.com, and we do not treat our subscribers, and we do not treat the few that follow us as children. But for those folks that turn on the Contrarian News Bubble Channel to decide whether or not to play in the markets or not, all I can say is God help you. You don't have to follow us. You don't have to do anything that we do. But I strongly suggest that if you're listening to Joe Bag of Donuts, Becky Not Too Quick, the guy who used to be a journalist, I think at the St. Pete Times, did his internship in Russia. The Silver Spoon Kid, who never probably worked on Honest Day in his life. If you're listening to them to decide what to do with your hard earned money, all I can say is God help you. And to the point where my eyes bleed, my hair hurts, is to find an education from someone. But if you think these people know anything about the markets, I simply ask you, when the housing bubble was over here, did they tell you about it? I think it was down here that the rodeo con was ranting and raving. And then when we turned on a dime, did they tell you then what the Fed was up to? Did they tell you about the Fed here or here? Maybe up in here. No, here it was because jobs were getting better and housing was getting better and everything was getting all better. And the Fed had nothing to do with it. They were just, you know, maybe up here they may have been, you know, mentioning it just a little bit. And now that we're up here and we're just down 4%, what are they chatting about on the Contrarian News Bubble Channel? How Miss Yellen is going to come in and turn the, you know, just stop it. If we get down 7, 8, 10%, she's just going to stop it on a dime. Okay, maybe they've done it before. Maybe not. You know, this was the end. You know, we had made these videos, you know, to the point where, again, my hair hurt. This was the end of QE1, then we had to do QE2, and this was the end of QE3, and then this was the presidential election, you know, and they sucked in all of the dumb money. All we're suggesting here, folks, is, is to, you know, open your eyes, open your ears, get an education from someone, and if you're waiting for the all clear signal from the Contrarian News Bubble Channel, you know, similar, you know, remember the snow calls that would go out on the radio when you were a kid? You know, for those people in the Northeast, you know, no school, all school, Boston, you know, um, we do not, um, we're adults. And, you know, I don't wait, although we're in Florida, so we don't have snow. But if I was in a northern, a northern uh, climate, I wouldn't be waiting. Uh, let's put it this way. We don't wait for the governor to tell us to get out of harm's way. You know, if there's going to be snow, we're going to make a decision ourselves as to whether or not to go to work or bring our kids to school, what have you. If there's going to be a hurricane, we're going to make our own decision to protect ourselves. So if you're listening to the Contrarian News Bubble channel to get your education on the markets, good luck to you. Um, there's a lot of good information out there, though, that you can learn to uh, chew your own food make your own decisions in life that's what we're about here at stockmarketcaddy.com and we wish everyone the very best but if you think this thing is over and that the bottom is in please just consider this chart this is where we started this is a time cycle this is the a point this is the c point we expected the d point here look where we are based on this channel this channel or resistance line we're extended based on this low this point we're extended based on time we are extended the no one has eliminated fear and greed in the market fear is a bigger indicator than uh, greed we haven't even got started folks hasn't even started yet so be careful get an education and um, you know, if you're a big fan of those, um, <laughs> the rodeo clown, good luck to you.